So let us now continue our discussion with the origin of elements. So we're done with the formation of hydrogen and helium. By the way, within the three minutes of Big Bang, after the Big Bang, the first three minutes, ang nangyari doon ay ang formation ng hydrogen and helium. And that is what you call Big Bang Nucleosynthesis. So this is what we call Big Bang nucleos Nucleosynthesis, wherein the formation of, formation of hydrogen and helium happen. Now, let us now proceed with this, what we call the subatomic particles. Now, as time goes on, no? so nagkaroon na rin ang mga negatively charged particles, na tinatawag natin ngayon na electrons. So the first uh, subatomic particles were the protons and neutrons, and eventually nagkaroon din ang mga negatively charged particles na tinatawag natin electrons. Now, the subatomic particles of an atom are the three. The protons, this red one, and this blue one is the neutron. So this is the proton, and this one is the neutron. So these two, the proton and the neutron, are collectively known as, yung tawag natin kanina, nucleons. These nucleons, the proton and the neutron, can be found at the center of the atom. So, lagi sila ang nasa center ng atom. At ang tawag natin sa center ng atom ay nucleus. So, our nucleus, the center of the atom, contains proton and neutron, or protons or and neutrons. Now, Outside the nucleus, surrounding the nucleus, moving fa so fast randomly are the electrons or electron. So these are the three subatomic particles of an atom. The protons, the neutron, which, is, which are collectively known as nucleons, which can be found in the nucleus of an atom, and we have the electrons. Now, for our proton, it is a positively charged subatomic particle. So, proton has a positive charge. While the neutron, neutron, neutral, it has no charge. The charge is zero. While the electrons, on the other hand, has a charge. And this is a negatively charged subatomic particles. So, the three subatomic particles have corresponding uh, charges. For protons, it's positive. For electrons, it's negative. For neutrons, it's zero. Now, let us now proceed with the concept of neutral atom or neutral element. What do we mean by neutral atom or neutral element? When we say that an atom is neutral or the neutral state of atom, the atom, it is an atom with equal number of protons and electrons. Take note, protons and electrons. Therefore, with this regard, in this concept of neutral atom or element, we will be disregarding the number of neutrons. We're just uh, concerned with the number of protons and electrons, and they should be equal. So, for example, for a hydrogen atom, it has an atomic number of 1, which tells us that it has 1 proton. For this element or atom to be considered as neutral, therefore, this hydrogen atom should have 1 proton and 1 electron. At normal state, at natural condition, it, uh, an element or atom is neutral because the atom or the element has equal number of protons and electrons. Now, another example is the carbon. Carbon has an atomic number of 6, meaning it has 6 protons. For carbon to be considered neutral, it should have also 6 electrons. So the neutral atom or neutral carbon has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. Uh, electrons. 
kung so paano nangyari naging neutral siya. So let's say, kung meron siyang 6 protons, 6 positive particles. 6 positive. Combined with 6 negative particles, the 6 electrons. So it's like 6 plus negative 6, you have 0. That is why the atom is neutral. It has no charge. Kasi nag-cancel yung sign ng protons and electrons when we add them. And they are just equal, so magiging charge natin ay 0. So another example would be for oxygen. It has an atomic number of 8, meaning it has 8 protons. So if it has 8 protons, for it to be considered as neutral, it should also have 8 electrons. So the total charge will become equal to 0. So it is now a neutral element or neutral atom. Let us now continue the discussion about the origin of elements. So kanina, diniscuss ko lang yung subatomic particles and the concept of neutral atom or element. This time, what, ha what happened after 3 minutes ng Big Bang and for the next millions of years? So, ito po yung mga naganap, no? So, after 3 minutes, sabi nga natin, from the beginning, from 0 to 3 minutes, within 3 minutes, naganap ang Big Bang Nucleosynthesis, the formation of uh, hydrogen and helium atoms. Now, after 3 minutes and for the next millions of years, there was a formation of stars. Doon na nung ngayon simula ang formation of stars. Mainly, these stars are mainly or basically composed of hydrogen and helium. Sabi nga natin, hydrogen and helium are the two most abundant elements in the universe before and even up to now. So, stars are basically made up of hydrogen and helium, the two most abundant elements. So, during that time, nag-start na formation ng stars and because the uh, universe still continues to expand yung tiyatawag nating cosmic inflation ay patuloy yung nangyayari, nag-start na rin mag-cool but not that hindi masyadong super babang naging temperature. Unti-unti lang siya or gradual slowing or cooling of, in terms of temperature. Now, during this time also, aside from the formation of stars, there were also formations ng mga tiyatawag nating light elements. These light elements are elements that are heavier in terms of mass and elements with uh, number of protons greater than the hydrogen and helium. So element, let's say, like lithium, elements of lithium with atomic number of 3, hanggang sa element ni iron, which has an atomic number of 26. So during this time, for so, mil for so many years, millions of years, ang nabuo lang ay stars. And aside from that, nabuo din ang other, other elements na tinatawag nating light elements from lithium to iron. So, ibig sabihin, at that period, hanggang iron lang ang nabuong elements. Wala pa yung mga tinatawag nating heavy elements. And this period of formation of stars and light elements ay tinatawag nating period ng stellar nucleosynthesis. So, madali siyang tandaan kasi stellar nucleosynthesis, stellar pertaining to the period wherein the star stars were formed. Okay? So, during this time again, the formations of stars and light elements happen. So, that is after the first 3 minutes or after 3 minutes ng Big Bang and for the next millions of years. So, this is the last part of our discussion in origin of elements. This time, we will be discussing the formation of heavy elements. Now, heavy elements were formed during the period of the process called supernova nucleosynthesis. So, what is, by the way, supernova nucleosynthesis? So, supernova nucleosynthesis is a process wherein nagsimula siya nung nagkaroon tayo na tiyatawag natin supernova. Pag sinabi natin supernova, it is the luminous explosion and really high energy releasing explosion of star. So, stellar explosion, ibig sabihin, 
nag-explode or it is the time where the star distracted nasira okay so during the time na nagkaroon ng supernova or unang star nagkaroon ng ng explosion ng star doon nagsimula ang tinatawag natin yung period na nagkaroon ng supernova nucleosynthesis wherein there is now the formation of heavy elements because of what we call again nucleosynthesis yung nagkaroon tayo ng nuclear fusion so nuclear fusion nuclei of light elements this time are the ones na nag-collide or nag-combine to form heavy elements now heavy elements can be considered as elements beyond or elements that are heavier than iron sabi kasi natin di ba nung stellar nucleosynthesis ang nabuo lang ay hanggang iron now this time yung supernova nucleosynthesis nabuo na yung mga heavy elements so starting from cobalt up to plutonium so these are the elements the heavy elements that we consider na nag-form during the supernova nucleosynthesis so to sum up our discussion in the origin of elements we have three important periods na dapat natin tandaan for the first three minutes of after big bang nagganap ang big bang nucleosynthesis na form ang hydrogen and helium atoms or elements and then During after the three minutes and for the next millions of years, doon naman yung stellar nucleosynthesis wherein there was, there were the formations of stars as well as the light elements from lithium up to iron. Well, wherein iron lang yung nabuo during that time. And then when a supernova started to happen, supernova nucleosynthesis wherein the formation of uh, heavy elements happened. So, Those are elements from cobalt up to plutonium. So those are the so that is the history of the origin of elements. So hanggang jan lang muna ang ating discussion about the introduction of physical science up to the origin of elements. So see you around and see you again in our next video in physical science.